This isn't even actually the time or the day for this video, but that light was so good. So good. So my little brother's helping me film, but we're on our way to help my older brother. We're gonna be setting up a YouTube studio for him at the airsoft field that he walks at. actually do that much setting up a studio for my brother because he didn't really have a good place to set it up at that's one thing I was gonna try and do here was figure out a place that they could leave a studio set up but he did want to show me around the airsoft field even though I am an artist I still believe in obeying the rules we uh, took over this field in April and since then we've started reconstruction we're gonna end up replacing everything out here we designed it this way because it's a similar layout to the one we took down and we put the supports in these special locations because we're planning on adding a stairwell over here and going up with a complete second floor one of my favorite locations to play in because you can clearly see the opposing side of the battlefield they especially during night games believe you're inside so they're constantly shooting through the windows, which gives you ample time to send as much ammo downrange as you can get. Now I actually got this lens when I got my original EOS M. And when I was using my M3 for vlogging, this is actually the lens that I use. I only had this lens and the 22 millimeter lens, but I haven't used this lens in a while because I've liked using the 15 to 45. It's a little bit wider. And I like the 24 millimeter equivalent better than the 28 millimeter equivalent that you're getting with this lens. And what I've been doing today with all of this video out here at the airsoft field is trying to actually get the hang of this lens again try the ins and outs of it see what i think to see if this lens could be a good alternative to the 15 to 45 kit lens now it actually seems to be a hair sharper i don't know exactly how much sharper i didn't like do back-to-back -back tests but it does seem to be at least a little bit sharper and the image stabilizer actually i'm more impressed with the image stabilizer on this lens than i am on the 15 to 45 kit lens but as far as compatibility goes I actually had some problems with this lens on the M50. For example, I've actually had problems with the autofocus with this lens. If you look at this shot, you'll see that the focus is just fading in and out. And I'm not sure exactly what's happening. That was with the autofocus. That wasn't like me trying to manual focus and keep him in. And it wasn't not picking up on him. It just was kind of wigging out and not working very well. Now it could just be that my lens is the only one experienced that. I could have a lemon that just doesn't communicate well with the M50, but I almost wonder if Canon didn't continue to update as well and so it's sort of a little more buggy than the new kit lens and unless i knew that other people didn't have any problems with the 18 to 55 on this camera i don't think i would want and i wouldn't want you to spend the money on something that you're ultimately just going to be frustrated with but if you have the 18 to 55 and use it on the m50 whether you love it or hate it let me know down in the comments section. Now another good thing about it is that it's a 55, it zooms in a little bit more than the 15 to 45, but it doesn't zoom out as much, so it's sort of a toss up. But one benefit of this lens as opposed to the kit lens is that on the long end, it's f5.6 instead of f6.3, which actually can make a big difference when you're craving light. Well, I think that's it for this video. If you're thinking about picking up this lens, save your money use the kit lens. I think you're ultimately gonna like that lens a lot better than this one. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you're in Eastern North Carolina, come check out Southfield Airsoft. That is, if you like Airsoft. They're, they have games every Saturday and fourth and third Friday. This is the newest rooftop we have. It's the best condition, and it's probably got some of the best placement, giving you a complete view of the entire battlefield. Uh, only places you can't see is far corners inside buildings, but most of the close ones you can still knock anyone out in. So we were doing attack defend, and instead of hiding in here with my ghillie suit, 
I tucked up underneath of this tree. So when they tried to flank around, I was easily able to knock them down and they couldn't stop me until they threw uh, three, no, I'm sorry, two of the Hakasu Thunder Bee grenades to flush me out of my location and I had to go back to respawn. All right, man, I'll see you.